Okay, so there, this is the chassis. And uh, yeah, it's gonna look a little something like this. It'll be like that. Yeah, this is a tricky part of the build. I didn't get much done on the chassis, but I am done with the um, axles and the links and the shocks. Those are all together. So hopefully by the end of the week, <laughs> I will have uh, the chassis together. So I'll probably do a little bit off camera, but I'm kind of hungry. So I'm going to go eat. Thanks for watching. Hi folks, I'm back. I'm working on my XR10. Um, I can't remember what I've actually filmed and what I have um, videoed. I've uh, just been kind of videotaping as I've gone along and gone ahead and done, done some things off of camera. So, um, last night I finished up some of the chassis. Got that pretty much put together. Um, off camera, I think I, um, I plastic dipped my receiver. Honestly, I don't remember what I filmed and what I didn't. Around here somewhere, too, I took my Novak dig and um, plastic dip the bottom of that, too. When I had this crawler in the past, I never got a wet. I never went outside with it, even if my rock pile was wet. So, um, but at least now, I'll have that opportunity, that option, should I want to take it outside in the rain and whatever in the trails. I can always throw it on the backpack when I'm uh, out and about with my XC SCX or something. So anyway, um, I think the next step is to install the receiver in the um, receiver box, which I've put together. Get that kind of set up on the chassis and uh, kind of get the ESC where it's supposed to be a little bit. So thanks for watching. and. Um, I don't know, I'll bring the camera, pan the camera down a bit to uh, kind of focus on what I'm doing. Thanks. So it does, it looks like the next step is to uh, take my receiver box, open it up, insert the receiver. I uh, plastic dipped it, but like I said, um, what I like to do before I dip a receiver, especially, is... Uh, take a picture of it so I know so I know where the um, plugs for the servo and the ESC and whatever go the bind plug my exacto and cut out some of the plastic dip so I can pull the uh, my plug I make that I use to uh, dip it with. Uh, being careful not to cut myself or the actual antenna wire, which is mixed up in that somewhere too. Probably could do that. Separate it out a bit. Pretty good. I mean, I've had, I've done better. But, uh, if I wanted to, I could probably go over it with a small brush and touch that up. Which I might, because it is kind of a broken seal. Uh, the thing with the XR10 is usually within pretty close range. So you don't need to worry about the antenna 
being outside of the truck too much, if at all. So, this is the ESC, which I think I'm just going to kerplunk right there in the center. can't remember how I had it on my old one. This is where the picture of the receiver is going to come in handy. So, that'll get the job done. They do, they look like bombs. It's pretty funny. Now these two are actually for the front and rear motors. Control them independently. Now this is that hairy middle of the road where it looks like a bloody mess. The reason I put this honking fat bulky ESC up top I'm gonna create a space for the battery in there. That's battery will go in between. It'll rest on there. Plan on using the batteries I use on my Tundra. It's a three cell, 1600 mAh, and it should all well, goes well. Fit nicely right in there. That'll be perfect. Just trying to secure it because I've temporarily, temporarily glued it, and I think my temporary solution might be a way to have a permanent one, but not right now. At least now I can manipulate it. It's not going to tip over. I wish I thought of that 20 minutes ago. Everything's hooked up. So now, um, I don't really need those. I don't think. Getting ready to install the axles. I think it'll start looking like a crawler when I get to this point. 